I'm going to show you an unraidable base that you can have on your very first day on any server. Now, no base is truly unraidable. However, this base is highly uneconomically raidable, as in, in order to get to my treasury room, it's going to cost the aggressors far, far more resources than they will ever gain. All right, so first off, I'm going to show how the outside looks, okay? Uh, so actually, let me just uh, hide inside the doorway here. Now, let's look at the map first, okay? I'm down here near the Sulphur Quarry, and this is my zone of influence. This is just a Tier 2 castle. You can see it's Tier 2. These are what Tier 1s look like. This is a Tier 3, and then the one with three spikes is a Tier 4, all right? Just in case you're wondering. Now, uh, I can't expand up here because of this guy, but I've already raided him. He's basically dead. Um, once he, this decays, I can take over up here, uh, assuming I go to tier 3. I can expand back here as well, and of course you can't expand on the roads, and this guy I haven't scouted yet, but he might be tough to raid. But uh, either way, that's not what this video is about. The video is mostly about how to make your base unraidable. Alright, so you can. I'm going to explain what honeycombing is, but first let me show you the outside. Let's say I'm the bad guy and I want to peek inside. In this game, people can look through your walls. That's just how it is. Uh, chalk it up to being a vampire, I guess, okay? So, nothing there. You can't really see much. You can see a, a servant coffin over there. But we have more servant coffins, okay? Remember, I'm pretending to be the bad guy. Again, can't really see anything. I'm tilting my camera. Get some loot here. Cool. <laughs> you can see, it's like, what the hell is going on there? Okay, now we can start seeing some stuff, okay? We got more honeycombs. And what is this honeycomb? Oh, we got we got some tre we got the treasure room. Okay, well maybe this looks like a pretty dinky, crappy treasure room because it's the, the tier one chests. All right, uh, and there's not a lot of them. So for a raider, they're gonna be like, I don't know, I don't know if I should raid that. And then here we have another little treasure room. This one looks a little bit better. However, this one is just filled with garbage and trash. Okay, and then we have what looks like a garden. Okay, maybe we have an access point in there. And I do want to say for this video, for the purpose of this video, um, let me just kill this wolf, that um, one, like, as soon as I hit tier 3, I didn't want to hit tier 3 until I filmed this video. I'm going to basically expand all the way out here. So this air, this will be honeycombed. This entire garden will be honeycombed, okay? And if I do get raided, I can always dismantle the, the garden and honeycomb it, assuming for whatever reason I can't get into tier 3. I don't know why I wouldn't. But as an invader, I can see it's just a garden. There's really not a lot that looks juicy in this base, right? Also, it's against these stone walls, so you can you can maybe jump over this with the horse, possibly, but then you'll be stuck. And there's no real way around the base after that. Yeah, I can go all the way around to the other side, but it has the same thing. It's using uh, these types of geometry, which you can't destroy or remove in the game in order to safeguard the base. So peeking inside, an invader can't really see anything. So that's... A nice deterrent but you see how we have wall 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 that's called a honeycomb this is pretty basic in uh, survival multiplayer games so as an invader the only way to start raiding a base is to use a stone golem which is a huge resource investment you have to break down at least one wall or one door and for the next eight minutes you can attack walls and use explosives to bust through walls but just looking through it's like okay they have to get through two walls and then they're in a empty dirt courtyard with what looks like an alchemy table that's it okay and again like looking through here they can see that i've honeycombed the inserts here so if they blow these two walls open they're not just in they have to get through more all right and again if you circle around the side here you can s really can't see much okay because again right here's where it ends you could use a horse to hop over this and then if there's a horse here, you can hop over again, but they can't really see into the base other than some really crappy looking uh, treasury rooms, which actually happens to be my main treasury room. And like I said, once I expand to tier 3, they won't be able to see that. So let's go to the interior. Let's say I'm an invader, I bust down the door, the raid begins, okay? there's That's just a horse for me to get around. It's actually a really nice horse, but what a, whatever. Okay, wait, no, not that one. That one's not nice. That's two doors they have to bust through, three doors. Now, mind you, the entire server will be collapsing on them at this point because this is a solo PvP server. Everyone that's online is going to run here and they're going to start fighting the golem. That's just the nature of these types of things, okay? So they bust. let's say they bust through three doors. Okay, now they have to deal with Bort, Steven, and Damien all shooting arrows through these windows. 
All right, so that's bad. So now their golem is pretty much toast here. Uh, and I haven't geared these guys out yet, but um, <laughs> they, they will be geared shortly after this video. Anyway, uh, so let's say they get through the fourth door with bombs. Okay, so now they can, they don't know where to go. They're looking around, they're like, okay, where's the treasury room? Where, where's the loot? There's, the, there's the, the heart, okay? Maybe the treasury room is over there. Because this is a regular PvP server, they can't destroy the castle heart. They can't remove it, they can't drain it it of its blood they can't you cannot be foundation wiped on regular pvp only full loot pvp for those that don't know the difference regular pvp means you do not drop your armor or your tools or your weapons i would however drop the, this canteen the hearts and these materials but i wouldn't lose any of my stuff so i don't get like progress wiped essentially so let's say they bust through here okay now they're in a big courtyard okay well where's the treasure all right they're still looking through the walls and they're like well we only have like a few minutes left unless we summon another golem uh, basically, they're just looking at outside honey honeycombing at this point, okay? So it's it's a huge time waste for them, but maybe they do decide to go this way. This this way is just a, a back door to my base. It leads to nothing. Okay, but maybe they choose to go this way, okay? So now they're dealing with Bort again, and once I have uh, a tier 3 cast, I'm going to have servants in every, like, on this side as well. But right now, I'm maxed out at, at 5 servants because, again, it's just tier 2. So I can only have five. Anyway, so they get through this door. Now they have to fight Steven and Freed. Maybe they've killed them prior, but other, either way, uh, also this servant will be firing diagonally through this window. And once I have servants here, again, diagonally through this window. The only mistake that I actually made is these should be outdoor panels because if it's daytime, they'll be roasted in the sun while in these small rooms, which I can't, I can't remove the floor. So uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck having an indoor hallway. Okay, they bust through this door. Finally, they can see something. They can see a production room. This is just three sawmills. Not not a big deal. A blood, uh, a blood juicer thing. I forget what it's called right now. It's uh, the blood press. Yes, you gotta press the blood. And then if they choose to go this way, it's another production room with you know just what a chest. This is actually <laughs> one of the better chests they could loot because it has all the gemstones in it. Uh, however, it's not advertised, you know, as being the big one, right? But also, if they, for whatever reason, want to loot these grinders, they're going to be shot at by, again, the servants. And then finally, let's say they actually manage to get to the chest room. Ta-da! They are here. They are at the heart of the, the castle. Well, guess what? Um, they got, wow, well, blood essence. Who cares, right? As soon as I kill um, the vampire hunter, I'm turning all of this into graders and throwing it into my unlootable chest. Uh, some coarse thread, all right? Like, if if they have materials to make golems and bombs, they don't care about coarse thread anymore. Absolutely not, okay? There's nothing in here. Some fish bones, this will make them mad. They're gonna be like, what the hell, dude? What the hell is this? And then this chest, for those who don't know, this chest here is unlootable for raiders. This is basically like an ender chest. It's like, uh, if you played Minecraft, it's, it's a chest that only you can open and the items inside no one else can get to. So you want to put all your valuable stuff obviously in this chest, which I have glass and uh, some stone brick and, you know, just building materials that I wouldn't want to lose. And basically just to repair my gear and repair my castle in, in the case that it gets raided. All right? And with, again, you can make two of these ba two bases, two full tier two bases on your very first day playing on any server. The only problem is, if you're on a very established server, it might be a little hard to uh, find a place to build. Which, again, like, everyone is taking up all the space everywhere, essentially. So you have to really weasel your way in. And then as you build, my advice is you hit Tier 2, farm the, the Sulphur Quarry, and then start farming these little Tier 1 buildings. Like, there's a Tier 1 there I can go farm. I can just go empty out everything. This means that they are using Palisades or wood. I blow open one wall and I have access to all their treasure. It's very easy to break into those. Uh, but you can see, like, scrolling around the map, there's not really a lot of Tier 1s. There was one up here. It's gone now. I think someone got it already. <laughs> and these don't update until you ride by them. So, like, you can see these tier 3 castles. They could be tier, you know, whatever in, in no time. Y you have no real idea. But, yeah, um, that that's it. That's the video. If anyone raids this, they will be out huge amounts of resources. And it is a solo PvP server, but people still pre-team on these anyway. You just got to watch out for that. And also, uh, for those uh, that are wondering, like, as long as you act actually log in every five days on a tier two, it it's actually longer. It's like 10 days on a tier four. 
but, like, I have five days and 12 hours. I can go on, like, a mini vacation and not touch this game, and I can come back, and maybe a few doors might be blown open, maybe a few walls might be gone if someone tried to raid it, but my stuff's pretty much safe. And, uh, I have two of these bases day one, so can you, and <laughs> it's just that easy. Like, this game is very, like, unlike Rust, it's, it's very easy to, uh... <laughs> To, to have a nice operating base that you won't lose on a regular PvP server, okay? Full loot PvP, a whole different story. They get to that castle heart, it's like getting to your tool chest and rust. They basically can just delete your entire base once they reach that. So, this video is only viable for regular PvP servers, not full loot PvP. Anyway guys, I'm Soul Benji. thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay soul. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Let me know in the comments what you were doing while you were watching or listening to this video. I, I'm curious, like, were you eating food? Were you playing the game? What were you playing? What were you doing? And uh, also, leave a like. Come on, just click that like button. It really helps out, man. I, I need all the help I can get, please. And uh, make sure you leave some comments. Comment on other people's comments. Don't just talk to me. I read every comment, so if you want to talk to me, that's fine. And also, hit that thanks button down below if you want to give me a tip. A monetary real life money tip. I would appreciate it very much. And if you want to really help out, you can become a channel member. It's five bucks a month. It's like being a Twitch subscriber. And it, it, it super helps out. You get personal, more private videos. You get access to videos that other people can't see. So it's like being in an exclusive club. You get little emojis that you unlock that you can use in comments and stuff. It's pretty cool. Guys, I appreciate you so much. I make videos every day on this channel, by the way. So make sure you're subscribed and come back tomorrow for another V-Rising video. Take care, lads.